They say Wolfheart's ship, the Vengeance, is sunk. Sixty cannons and two hundred souls lost to the deep. They say it was a fell storm that took her, or some say it was pirates from the Maelstrom. They say she was lost here, in the realm of Luther Harkon. And to trespass in these waters is to invite death on board. But then they know nothing. You waste our time. Wait! This is the map you are looking for, crafted by Captain Jacob Wolfhart himself. I beg your patience, for its secrets are easily missed. Mathlanka, Shemga. Witness Wolfhart's obsession, a life spent chasing tavern stories and myths. Sightings, eyewitness accounts, a hundred shipwrecks named and dated. Like you, Wolfhard knew it was no storm or jagged rocks that caused their demise. It was the Tide Maker, the ancient Merworm. The elves named it Amanar. Wolfhart's ship, where is it? Ah, yes, its final resting place. It was here he fought the beast, the fight to the death. All but one of his crew were lost. It was he who marked the map with this cross. The vengeance lies here. And if the story runs true, a weapon lies with her. A weapon to kill the unkillable. To challenge the beast is to challenge the sea itself, cursing all that sail with its retribution. Wolfhart sought infamy for killing the beast, but the question remains, why would your kind seek it? <laughs> While the storms we go hunt, yes. hunt me. Us, no matter. My lord, we have the map. What are your orders? Kill the beast. Resurrect the beast. Rule the waves. The oceans roil constantly, shifting, concealing. Hiding secrets beneath their murky depths. The living have no place in the dark deep of the sea. Only the dead can scavenge here. Wolfheart's ship, a vengeance left unfulfilled. But that was not all the captain left behind. There it gleams amidst the carcass of the ship, a harpoon of tempered star metal, the only weapon strong enough to pierce the heart of Amana. The harpoon is claimed but the charms that made it so potent have been washed away. There is much to do before the weapon can be used against the beast. The launcher has been constructed, and Stromfell's last shanties have been sunk. 
The verses combining into a potent charm, imbuing the harpoon with great power. The final verse revealing a cavern in the deeps where Amana lurks. The chart is plotted, and the sails billow as the ship follows the course revealed by the map. The order is given. Drop anchor. Your crew descends into the depths in search of the beast. Amana is close. The ancient mailworm roars. In defiance or anguish, the predator is not used to the role of prey. From the shadows comes another to claim the prize of slaying Lothan's guardian beast. Wolfheart's bane will become Fellheart's glory, but you are in his way. Your hunt is over. The Merworm is not yours to slay. It is a creature of Mathlan, Lord of the Deeps, and only I am charged to cull in his name. It has been amusing watching your sea-racked corpses stumble and dodder as you tracked the prey, but Aminar is Lothan's guardian, a creature aligned to the Asur. Who are you to interfere in such an ancient rivalry? The prize is mine, and mine alone. The beast is summoned. Your use is at an end. Prepare to face the Kraken Lord! The Kraken Lord is defeated. His mantle of the sea's greatest pirate is almost yours. But there remains another task to fulfill. The beast is lured to the surface. Wolfheart's harpoon yearns to be fired. Now blessed with charms hidden within the ancient sea shanties, it thrums with power. The lore of beasts to raise a beast. Amana has risen again, but its flesh rots, for it is no longer Althuan's ancient guardian of the sea, but an undead monster within your throne. You have the ultimate prize, a treasure greater than any jewel, and with it, your infamy will spread far beyond the coasts. The seas are yours. Its prey and plunder await you.